The Codebeam conference, I think, has widened over the years. There are more, the more covered in more topics, subjects, applications uh, than it did before. Before it was more centralised Erlang, but now it's widened for it. And what I still think is very much fun is I like to hear about all the things people are doing with these systems, right? That I think is the most fascinating bit. That's something I find very interesting with conferences as such, not just the presentations, but just talking to people and discussing things with them and what they're doing and what they think about things and, and often new topics come up, uh, how they're working with it. Several talks actually uh, uh, surprised me in that they were talking about things or, or uh, parts of things that I was covering in my keynote. Uh, so uh, definitely there's a lot of innovation happening and a lot of people trying lots of things. Um, uh, I really liked uh, what Vaccine is doing, for example, the, the, the database. Uh, uh, a lot of activity happening in like uh, really intense sort of distributed systems that I wasn't expecting to see. If you started coding in Erlang, uh, you'll, you'll be amazed by how much you can really learn because there is a big ecosystem, it's just that it's a bit hidden in big companies. Um, uh, WhatsApp, uh, uh, Kivra, Klarna, uh, Ericsson themselves, but if you're not working directly with them, you don't know all the cool stuff they're doing. So, I really recommend it. We have been very much engaged in the uh, uh, programming community. Uh, we have been contributing back to uh, OTP uh, and also open source a lot of uh, uh, libraries. And, uh, in fact, the EMQX project itself is a, it's an open source project. So we want to be more engaged in the community and also giving, giving back to the community uh, with, the, with all the uh, knowledge sharing, not just the open source project, but, but also spreading the knowledge that we learn. We partnered with Codebeam because as a fintech company, Kona is always interested for technologies to strive for the best solution. And uh, for partner with Codebeam, we're going to learn more about Erlon and also let the Erlon community know more about us. So we think it's a good opportunity. Well, if you've never been to a Codebeam conference, one of these conferences, that is where you will hear what is happening in, in this, this whole Beam environment. Right? I mean, you've got two, two, two simple, two basic talks where one uh, presenting what's coming in the next version of Erlang, and now we have one that's talking about what's coming in the next version of Elixir, just getting these things up. What's been done with it? How the tools are used? What new tools? What's good about this tool? What's bad about that tool? How to get around these problems? How to, all these type of things you'll find at the conference and the meeting of people and just hearing what other people do. It's really where the community comes together and not just any one language. It's all of the Beam languages and all of the different um, uh, viewpoints, perspectives, uh, um, approaches to these things. Um, I don't think I've been to a uh, conference with qu quite the same sort of uh, cross-section of people. And, uh, you know, uh, for, for people like me who, who love the Beam and, and, and love working on it, uh, it's nice to uh, uh, be able to share uh, what everybody's working on. I work as an airline developer uh, uh, at Kivra. And I'm here because I really love Erlang, and that's why we won't go to this conference. Uh, it is the best conference for Erlang developers. <laughs>